total freedom. Say it for yourself. It's coming your way. You are going to receive now in Jesus' name. As I pray here, power, supernatural touch will come to you there anywhere you are in Jesus' name. Are you ready? Raise up one hand and touch the place where you have the challenge. Blind eyes will open and see. The deaf, the dumb will hear and speak out. Cancer will vanish away. Ulcer will vanish away. All that swelling will get out of your body. The fire from the altar of God will burn every disease, every infirmity out of your life right now in Jesus' name. <clears throat> Are you ready? Heaven is ready for you too. After the final amen, the check up yourself, it is done. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come in this name that cannot fail, the name that has power, the name that saves, the name that heals, the name that delivers. And I pray, Lord, for everyone, I pray that the fire of heaven will burn out every child, every sickness, every disease from their bodies in Jesus' name. <laughs> Healing for everyone. Total deliverance for everyone. Freedom for everyone. And the power that raised up Christ from the dead penetrate every life right now pain i command you vanish away all the diseases in your body i command come out in jesus name blind eyes be opened in jesus name Tight tongues be loose in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb be healed in Jesus' name. COVID 19, anywhere there, the presence of Jesus rebukes you. Come out in Jesus' name. Leprosy be healed in Jesus' name. And that urinating, 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 whatever the cause, be healed in Jesus' name. Prostate be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, now everywhere, 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 touch them with a divine touch. A healing touch, a supernatural touch, and confirm the miracle, the healing, the deliverance everywhere on everyone in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. Confirm it in every life. In Jesus' name, I pray. It is done. I said it is done. 
check up yourself there, you'll find your miracle there. It is done. Check up yourself now. Check up, no movement, just check yourself. Whatever you are not able to do, do it now. The pains are gone. The eyes that it was bright have been opened. Begin to check up as you discover the miracle. You shall praise the Lord. Then you come to the front of all seats. Check up, check up, check up, check up. Because it is done. The power has been released. You will wheelchair, please rise up. And for those online, already the power has been released and the miracle power has touched you. Check up. It has happened. Amen. It has happened. Come out. It has happened. Raise it up. Raise it up very well. Raise it up very well. Can you see the crushes over there? It has happened. It has happened. Amen. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check up your own miracle wherever you are. It is done. It is done. Check up. Check up. Check up. This wording is gone. The diabetes have been removed. The crackoma is taken away. Check up. Whatever you are not able to do before, begin to do it now. Check up. Don't be a spectator. Begin to do. And as you discover your own miracle, please come out. Please come out. Come to all seats in front here. Make way for them. Outside, check up. Outside, check up. It's happening. Power has been released. Put your hand together for Jesus. Check up, check up, check up, check up. Hold one. The power has been released. Miracle has been released. Hold two. Hold three. Check up. Check up yourself and begin to do what you are not able to do before. The Lord has done it. The Lord have done it. Check up and come out. From outside, keep coming, keep coming. Once you receive your own miracle, this wording is gone. Check that pain on your breast, it's gone. Keep coming, God bless you. Come to the front of all seats. Keep coming, everyone. Keep coming as you discard your miracle. Check yourself. The power has been released. The man of God has prayed. Check yourself and receive your miracle. God bless you. Check yourself. Don't be a spectator. Keep coming. Keep coming. Whatever the miracle you receive, check yourself. The pain, waist pain is gone. Pain on your shoulder is gone. Jam your hand. Check yourself. Look at him there. Look at him there. Check yourself. It's not only the lame. Even you. Headache. Also. Everything is gone. Check yourself. As you discover your miracle, you keep coming. Make way for them. Put your hand together for Jesus. Wonderful. Power has been released. Power has been released. The fire of God has burnt up all the shackles of the enemy. Everything the enemy has planted in your life has been taken away. Check yourself and come out. Check yourself and come out. Check yourself. Come to all seats. Our leaders, I hope you are there to interview them. Begin to interview them and get them ready for testimony from all seven. Check yourself. Everywhere. Don't check others. Check yourself. Check yourself. Don't check others. Check yourself. You can't see before. Open your eyes. You begin to see. You are having typhoid. It's gone. You are having diabetes. It's gone. Your problem is gone. Check yourself. And begin to do what you are not able to do before. And no miracle is small. 
every miracle you receive, come to all seas and let's hear your testimony. Come quickly, come quickly to all seas. Our leaders, please get them interview. From all the halls, make your way to all seas from outside. Please bring them out. Check yourself. Online, the same. As you describe your own testimony, you quickly type and send it. And then we will read it out. Those on the radio, those listening to us over the radio, check yourself too. As you discover, identify and let us know. You can go to the online and send in your testimony. It will be read. Or you come, if you are near, you come down tomorrow morning. Check yourself, check yourself. Power has been released. Please, let's get them ready. And let's ensure that everything is clear before you send them. Check yourself. You are not a spectator. And your problem is not too small. God has taken it away. Is it fever? Is it ulcer? Is it waist pain? Is it pain on your shoulder? Is it eye problem? Just begin to do whatever, whatever you are not able to do before. And you will see the power of God has taught you. Nobody is going now. It's still very early in the day. Check yourself. And let's see what God has done for you. You describe the miracle, please come to all seats. Please, let's get them ready. Once you are ready, let me know so that we can start taking the testimonies. Maybe the Lord did your own on Thursday. Come now that you are sure and share your testimony. Maybe the Lord did it yesterday. Come out here. We are waiting for you. Come to all seats. Our leaders, please, are we ready? Shake yourself. Shake yourself and move to all seats. God bless you as you come to all seats. Leaders, please get them, get them, interview them and arrange them, please. Pastors, are we ready? We want to start? Check yourself. You are not an expectator. Thank you. Okay, stress. Thank you. Amen. Check yourself, check yourself. Leaders, are we ready? We want to start testimony time now. Check yourself, keep coming to all six. Front of all six. As you describe your miracle, make your way to all six. As you describe your miracle, come out. We want to have the first testifier, please. Let's be fast. We want to have the first person. You go straight, please. Tell us your name and what God did for you. Please, let's keep it. Let's not uh, be, you know, let's not take the time because we have a lot of people. Please arrange, align them up. And the people that came out the other time that were not given, they also can come here. Please, let's say the first person. 
the first person your name and what God did for you. Let's go. Praise the Lord. Don't you By the grace of God, I, my name is the Brother David Mwobodo. I come from Nara in Kano. Praise the Lord. I want to testify what God has done for me. God has been doing a wonderful thing in my life since I gave my life to Jesus. Since 1987, when I gave my life to Jesus, God is good for me. It reaches last year, August, on the last Saturday of August last year. We went for one barrier. After when we go to the barrier, we return, we go to a workers' meeting. After when I returned from workers' meeting on that Saturday, preparing to go for combined service on that Sunday, last Sunday. Reaching in the morning, I just go outside to go and unit around that kind between four or five. I discovered that the torch I kept for her, for grand. When I, I do finish, I cannot be able to use my hand and pick the torch again. I started wondering, say, what happened? I don't know what happened. I say, in Jesus' name, I force myself, I want to bring the torch in no grief. I say, in Jesus' name, and I use the other hand and force the torch and bring it and put for that hand. Praise the Lord! And I, 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 I commit, I mean, I told all my pastors, call them on the phone, they started praying for me. Just within five minutes, I stood up, I begin the work again. I begin to use myself in my hand again. So, but to my great surprise, around that kind of uh, just a month or so, then when we went to the church, another combined service again. I couldn't be able to go to church since all those days again. But I went to the church on the last uh, month again. After when we don't do prayer, so the brother, prayer we hold that there was the prayer brother, concerning what happened now? our because sister's of time. Okay. What do you do? Praise God. the Lord. So I thank God so much today. Even when we are coming for this program, I, I supposed to come there before yesterday or yesterday. But because of condition of money, I know come. But today, by the grace of God, I come. <laughs> So, missing in the ma, opening and cooking in the boom, I'm a gym when we be a bar. But No, particularly the testimony of that our sister today, it touches me. Then I started getting myself. And by now, by the special grace of God, God has really helped me. I can walk without this stick. So, this stick, I am going to keep it in Jesus' name. I will. You can walk now. Let us see. Walk and let us see. Walk and let us see. Amen. Praise the Lord. You had his testimony that last year is like he was struck and then a strange sickness or like maybe stroke. But since then, to bend down, problem and all that, but he wasn't able to come yes, uh, Thursday and yesterday. But tonight, he came, managed himself. After the prayer of the man of God, you see him free, jumping without walking with walking stick anymore. Your own problem is gone. We take another person, please. Go straight to the testimony, please. Your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Ed Esther. I'm from MH District. Since I was a kid, I've been severe pain in the center of my head. Soon 19, then I started having eye problems, short sight. So when I came to this crusade, after our pastor, WF Kumi, finished praying, I felt a touch in my body. And when I get home, I, when I get home, I, I examine myself and find that the problem was no more. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. The eye problem 
and severe headache gone. The eye problem and severe headache gone. Yes. The next person. And when the seventh month was come and the children of Israel were in the city. Okay, you can see he had been tested and is able to read without much problem. The next person, please. Church, praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Sister Kowi Joma. I'm from Suka region. I want to bless the name of the Lord for what he did for me. Since the year 2014, I've been passing through a, a situation that actually I cannot explain. But I want to thank God because as I kept on believing the Lord, even when I was told that I had to go to medical, I have a list of uh, 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 witch doctors, I refused. And I told them that I am a child of God. I will continue to serve God until the Lord will see me through. And during the divine connection, I prayed and believed God that the whole thing will be resolved. It is now seven years. So as the, as the program was going on, the Lord told me precisely that I will be well. Praise the Lord. And then this, this uh, 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 crusade we had, that was yesterday, the divine touch for total freedom. I came, for the yesterday, uh, for, uh, I came yesterday for the crusade. I kept on praying. And I, I was telling the Lord, you said you will, I will be well. I believe you, Father. Praise the Lord. And after the prayer of the man of God, as we went back to the place of our, our rest, in the night, I just saw myself, my mouth was open, and I was vomiting out something, vomiting out something, vomiting out something. Praise the Lord. I want to bless the name of the Lord because I know the Lord has healed me even as, as he promised me. And I said, by the Lord who has taken away my sins, May his name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank Amen. You. But what Thank you, my father. Thank you, my uh, father. Please, may we know what was the problem, the specific priest. Want to know in what was the problem that she was suffering from, please. Praise the Lord. It is a problem of sin. Yeah. Sin that I cannot really explain now. It's okay. But I kept Put on. Put your hand Lord. together for Jesus. The sin problem taken away. Now she is free. The next person, please. Praise the Lord. My name is and Jacko. I come from. from I must say, I wound my teeth. He will not allow me to eat. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is my son, and uh, his name is Michael Njoko, and we, we come from our uh, Imo state. That was last week, and uh, he's not getting all right in his feeding. He has soil in his mouth, and uh, he can't eat very well. And uh, yesterday, I was amazing when, after Pastor said, wherever his, he has a pen, and I told him, put your hand where he has a pen. And he put his mouth, his hand is his mouth, and after the ministration, I was amazed saw him eating a plate of rice since he has not been eating. And uh, today I just asked him, Why is your, how did you feel? He says he doesn't have any pains again. I said, Now you go and testify for the Lord. And uh, my coming here is my daughter, the one, the, the second one of it. He cannot walk. Three, since three years now, he can't speak three years, and I has his picture in my phone, and I believe that if the Lord has done it for him, you also do for the sister. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. God is good. He has done me well. Oh, my soul.
God is good. Amen. We now go to online to hear testimony from the online before we come back here. Because as God is working here, He's working also on our brethren online. We have testimonies coming from the online and we begin at the United States of America where Sandy is live from California. Sandy from the United States of America live. Hi. My name is Nahran Sandra Zaya. And I'm from California. I started going to Deeper Life Bible Church since January 2021. Last year, in August 2020, I started getting a lot of pain in my uterus. And I did ultrasound, and the doctors found fibroid tumors in there. And we did an ultrasound in October. They find one fibroid. And then we do follow up again in January 6, 2021. This time they found two fibroids and a cyst. Then I started going deeper life Bible church and I did my last ultrasound in July 20, uh, July 23, and they found no more tumor, no more fibroids. Everything is gone. Even the cyst is gone and everything. Also, my cholesterol was so high. My LDL cholesterol was at 237 back in January. And then my new result came back. It went down to 129 in July 15, 2021. And that's my testimony. I also used to drink and smoke a lot. And I used to be a bartender. And now I don't smoke or drink. I have no desire. And that's from the mighty Lord of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And I thank Deeper Life Bible Church so much for everything they've done because they make me believe in faith of Jesus Christ. And that's the only way to be saved if you believe in Jesus Christ. Amen and hallelujah. And thank you, Dr. W. F. Kamahi. I love you so much. He's changed my life. This church changed my life. I'm a Syrian Babylonian. I never believed before. And now I do. And I thank Jesus Christ and Dr. W.F. Kamai for all the miracles in my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. We now come back to online here in Enugu. And something spectacular happened at Park Lane Hospital. It began on the 26th. On the 26th, which was the day the program began. As you can see, he has been in this position for the past three weeks. He has been, he, he was being moved from one hospital to another. As I mentioned earlier, he's presently at Asut Teaching Hospital Park Lane here in Enugu. He's been on oxygen for the past six days, feeding through the feeding tube, unconscious since then. And his brethren connected with the divine touch for total freedom, global crusade, yesterday night. And they joined their hands together in prayers. And what you see is what is now happening as we speak right now, he is eating, he has recovered, the oxygen has been removed, God has taken over at the final amen. Something about the final amen. Fully conscious of his environment. His name, Ugu Ifaichuku. He lives at Onukwe Street here in Enugu. Praise the Praise Lord. The Lord. And from there, we return again to the online where we have more testimonies. This time, 
again from the United States of America. Selena Okwala, a Nigerian living in the U.S., was suffering from tremor. Tremor is a shaking of the left hand. For two years, he went to the doctor. The doctor told her that what she was suffering from was incurable. But as she connected to the program, divine, as she connected to the program, she received a healing and her heart no longer shakes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next, we bring you the testimony online of Christiana Ayivo Awomi. The testimony says, while Christiana had an accident, was rushed to the hospital, there was an x-ray. Doctor told them that there is no problem, just a minor injury. But after four weeks, her husband decided to go for a review, only to discover that the knee was broken. So the new doctor quickly referred them to a teaching hospital. And now... And now, as you can see, the Lord's healing power touched him. He is healed after the prayer of the man of God. He got up. He got up. He got up on his own and began to walk without assistance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Next, we take you to Ondo State, where we have a 96-year-old. We have a 96-year-old who had been in a critical condition for a very, very long time. You would see the picture coming on your screen very shortly. There he is. This Baba that you see yesterday gave his life to Jesus Christ genuinely. And this morning, he woke up and something happened. As you can see, he woke up, he joined the family devotion without his walking stick, and he testified that he can now work something he couldn't do before. Yeah, he goes Will forward you march, the Lord? left to right, forward march. Baba at 96 has received the power touch from divine put your hands together for jesus as we return to the state of Asia now for jesus in the man in the man 